Welcome to the SVS Member Branding Toolkit. As you will see, the SVS has developed a robust set of professional branding tools to help its members communicate the comprehensive role you play in patient-centered care. The tools below are a combination of downloadable and customizable branding tools that you can use on your practice website, in presentations, and other marketing communications. These tools can be customized and downloaded at no cost for SVS members. This first set of branding tools is focused on strengthening referral source relationships. Additional tools will be developed based on your feedback. A link to provide your input is located here. It'll open up a survey and you can let the SVS know what types of tools will help you in your practice. Before you start, it's important to first create your branding toolkit profile. Click the profile button in the top navigation, enter in your name and other information, change your password from the temporary one you were provided, and enter in addresses, whether those are shipping addresses or billing addresses. The next thing you'll wanna do is open and print out a toolkit quick reference guide by clicking here. Print out this guide as it will help you uncomplicate the customizing process throughout. As you can see, these referral focused branding tools are separated into folders. There are folders for branding downloads, primary care physician referral tools, podiatrist referral tools, condition flyers, branded email communication, social media ads and posts, and both primary care physician and podiatrist referral banner ads. Let's start with the branding downloads. To access that folder, Click on it. It will open up the downloadable files or tools. If I want to download the SVS member logo, I click on that file. Ignore for now all of the price information because all we want to do is download. There are instructions and descriptions throughout all the tools on this lower left. In this case, it will instruct you to just click the download the SVS member logo. Click that link, the logo will download and you'll see it on the bottom left of your computer, at which point you can open and now I can take it and save it on my computer. It's as easy as that. Now let's, let's try one more. If we want to grab the SVS brand video, a video which all of you have probably seen numerous times leading up to different town hall meetings, you can download it and use it on your own website. Again, instructions or descriptions are here. Simply click download the SVS brand video link and the system will start downloading that video here. This one will take a little bit of time. Uh, so once it's done, again, you can open it, click it, and it will play. Each year, millions of adults in the US are diagnosed with vascular disease. And so from here again, you can save it on your computer and use it in your marketing communications and on your practice website. Now that we've shown you how to download branding tools, let's click the home button and go back to the home page and let's tackle customizing some of these tools starting with primary care physician tools. Click the folder. Inside that folder, you'll find a four page brochure, a single page flyer, and a direct mail postcard, all targeting primary care physicians. Let's start with the referral brochure because it's gonna be the most complex in terms of customizing. For now, ignore the different quantity and printing information here uh, this will be available to you later and certainly is available on all of these tools if you choose to order professionally printed versions from the SVS's printing partner. For now, we just want to customize. So we'll click the Customize button. The system will load this particular file into, into itself. And it will appear here. Let's first go through the things you can customize. Now, this is the cover of the brochure. If you like the images that are here, go ahead and leave them. 
but each of these three images can be changed with images from your own practice. If we want to look at page two, we go up here and click the down arrow under page. And on page two, there's another photo. Again, if you want to keep this, keep it. If you want to replace it with one from your own practice, go ahead and do that. Same on page three. And then the back cover, page four, is where your practice information will appear. You don't see it now, but once we populate it, your logo, your practice name, contact information, et cetera, will all populate in this area down here. So let's go back to page one, and I'll show you how to swap out these photos. So you see here, page one controls, left image, center image, right image. If I want to change out that left image, I click add image, I click upload image, and then something that I would suggest before you get started on customizing these tools is create a, a toolkit folder on your computer, uh, as I've done here. So I already kind of know which, which of photos I'm going to want to use in the different positions. So I'm going to choose this left photo. I'm going to click open. The system uploads the photo in. And then one very important step is you see this highlighted area. This is the area that's going to appear in this particular brochure. And you can click on it and move it around as you see fit. So if I want to highlight these two providers, I highlight here. If I want to maybe get a little bit more of the patient and the equipment that we're using, you know, let's, let's choose this here. Once you're done, click Finish Cropping. And if I want to see my progress so far, click the Update Preview button, and the system will place this image into the cover of this brochure. Now, I'll quickly go through and do the other two images. For the center image, let's upload one. We'll grab that here. It's our photo. We'll open it up. And I'll show you one other thing you can do uh, with the cropping tool. So again, you kind of are highlighting this area here. Let's say I wanted to focus in on, on one of these physicians. So I can grab the corner of this tool and bring it up. And I can then center it over her to show her in a consultative mode. Click Finish Cropping. Click Update. And again, you'll see that it's placed this photo into the brochure. You can continue on and do the third. Upload image. Let's choose the right image. Now I've selected some photos that are a little bit more horizontal in nature. A good tip here is, is that horizontal uh, or vertical, I should say, photos actually are going to help a little bit more, especially when you get to the cropping tool. So let's say here I really want to focus in on our physician and patient. Finish cropping, click update preview. Now you don't have to click update preview after every single thing you do. You can wait until the end and, and certainly you can go back and fix anything if it didn't turn out how you wanted it but you've now got a nice set of images that you can use for your practice. So updating the photos on pages two and three are gonna be a very similar process. So let's go to page four. I click page four up above so I can see what I'm doing. And then over here, I'm gonna skip pay it past page two controls, page three controls, and go to page four. Now, first thing I can do is upload a logo. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to find my logo, which is our, uh, our Anytown Vascular Surgeons, our made up practice. It's going to place the logo into this particular piece. Again, I can hit update preview or I can do more things uh, before I do this, but I'll show you how it places the logo in, in relation to the member logo for the SVS. Now I can enter in practice name, so I can say 
any town vascular. I can put in an address. I'm just going to use an address that I already have populated in my system. One thing on the phone number to point out is it will appear in this document exactly how it appears as you enter it here. So if you want dashes in between the numbers or if you want to put parentheses around the area code, do that in this particular box and that's how we'll enter into the system. I can now enter in a web address, anytown org. So I'll click preview. For now, I'm not going to enter in additional physician names. Uh, if you want to add them in, they're going to appear to the right of the Anytown Vascular Surgeons logo. But you can kind of see here uh, what this back page will look like. If you want to look at a little bit larger view, go to preview size. And instead of standard, let's click large. And this will enable you to see what you've created a little bit clearer. Okay. Now I've got a couple choices at this point. If, if it's done and, and I, I just want to download, there's this download button and this will be available after you customize any of these particular branding tools. So if I want to download this piece, I just simply click the button, click download proof, and it will download a PDF here. Now I've got this PDF. I can save it on my computer. I can email it to colleagues. I can email it to referral sources. I can print it locally, etc. But a good idea at this point to take this PDF and save it onto your particular system or your computer. Okay. If you want to save it for later, you can click the save for later button. Now, one thing is that these are, are short term. So the max that a document can sit in the save for later folder is 60 days. So a better idea once you're happy with it is to download it. Now, if you want to order printed proofs, you click finish editing. It needs you to approve the document. So you might want to review it again. Click the yes, I approve this document. And now you can add it to your cart. Again, a little bit of system buffering, but now we'll get in the cart. So I'm going to edit this because I want to order some of these prints. So I'm going to click edit and I'm going to go over to quantity and I'm going to say, you know what, a hundred sounds about right for me. It's going to update the quantity. It's going to tell you the price. And then it's just like ordering any other product you order online. You add it back to your cart and you complete your purchase. It's as easy as that. Now let's go back to the home page and I'll show you a couple more branding tools that I think you'll be interested in. Starting with the condition flyers. These flyers are available in two different ways. One set is customizable where you can put in your practice information. Other set are SVS branded. You can choose whichever you feel is going to be most effective for your communication with referral sources. Let's look at one of these customizable flyers. We'll look at the AAA flyer. This one I want to customize. So I hit the customize button. It will load into the system. Now everything on, on the first page is, is locked in. So where you can customize is actually on page two. So let's click this arrow and go to page two. And again, just as I've done on the other piece that I showed you on the brochure, you can add in your practice logo. Again, our fictional Anytown Vascular Surgeons. I can add in an address. I can add a website. 
and phone. And again, the phone is gonna, gonna look like I type it in in this box. Once I have all of that entered in, I click Update Preview, and the system will go through and show me how this particular flyer is gonna look once it's customized with my information. Again, at this point, you can click the download button, download a proof, and this will allow you to download a PDF that again, you could place for download on your website, you could email to referral sources, to colleagues within your system, et cetera, to educate them uh, on the fact that AAA is a, a type of condition that really is the purview of a vascular surgeon. So let's go back to our homepage. I want to show you one other that takes a little bit of finesse. And that would be social media ads. So if you go to, down to the social media ads and post folder, click it, there's a couple of things available to you here. Now we've separated this into folders for Facebook ads and post, Twitter ads, and Doximity posts. Now, Something else that's available to you here are video segments. So you've all seen again, the two minute brand video that we created uh, to talk through uh, vascular surgeons approach to healthcare. But we've taken that video and we've broken it down into five different pieces. Now they're most appropriate for social media posts. So we have some sample social media copy that you can use with each one of them but you can download each one and we've titled each based on the content of the particular video. And you can use these segments, you know, not only in social media, but you could use them other places if you just wanted to email a video to someone or, or place it on your website. So let's go to Facebook, for example. The first thing you're gonna see in both Facebook and Twitter is a how-to guide. Again, highly recommend that you open this, print it out, and use it and refer to it uh, as you create these, these Facebook ads. So you'll also see a set of images that you can use for these Facebook ads. A couple are gonna look very familiar, following our branding very closely. This one for primary care physicians, this one for podiatrists, again, you can customize these. You can swap out all these photos with photos from your own practice, as I've shown you on uh, the brochure. But I wanna show you this particular one. This is something I think can be very useful to SVS members that wanna do Facebook ads. So in this particular photo, it, it shows a, a consultation between a vascular surgeon, and in this case, a cardiologist. Let's say I wanna customize that photo, and again, use one from my own practice. I press the Customize button. It opens up the tool. I click Add Image, Upload Image. Here we go, here's the photo. So I upload this particular photo. Again, the system is gonna ask me to highlight the area that I wanna use. So probably not there, uh, but here. And again, I can grab the corner and get a little closer. And once I've kind of got it where I want it, I click finish cropping. I update the preview. And as you'll see, it replaces our consultation photo uh, with, in this case, uh, more of a rehab focused photo from one of the providers. What stays in this is this little member swoosh and, and this little uh, insignia or logo that indicates that this post is coming from a member of the SVS. So again, Let's say I wanna use this in my Facebook ad. I'm gonna click download, I'm gonna download a proof. Now, one of the quirks of the system uh, that you'll get used to very quickly is it downloads everything as a PDF. So I'm gonna open this PDF 
and I'm going to need to save it on my computer. So I'm going to find my SVS toolkit folder. Probably a good idea to rename. Let's call this treadmill uh, FB for Facebook. I'm going to save that PDF. Now I'm on a Mac, so this may be a little bit different for PC users. But let's say uh, now I want to go back to this file that I just saved called treadmill. I'm going to open it as a PDF. And now what I want to do is save it as a JPEG because a JPEG is the type of file that Facebook needs to be able to put into the ad. So I'm going to go down to export to, I'm going to go to image and I'm going to select JPEG. I'm going to click save. And now if I go back to my folder, I now have this treadmill FB JPEG that I can preview here that I'm ready to put into my Facebook ad. I hope this tutorial has helped. I can't stress enough. When you get started, update your profile, click here to download the Branding Toolkit Quick Reference Guide, print it out, it will help you customize the tools every time you go in. Click here to provide feedback on these tools and request additional tools that you feel will help your practice. One more thing that we've allowed for SVS members is a helpline. So here's an email address to Springboard Branding Creative Strategy, the branding partner that, as you may know, has developed all of this branding for SVS and the vascular surgeons and has created all the tools that you see in this toolkit. Feel free to email Springboard if you have any trouble or questions navigating or customizing the branding tools that exist within this toolkit. One other thing that you can contact Springboard for is if you need additional branding, for example, a new branding tool that you want to create special and specific for your practice, or you want to customize one of these tools beyond the scope of this particular toolkit, contact Springboard. Okay, thank you very much and enjoy the SVS Branding Toolkit.